Togetherness was really important to the senior class. They really do a good job of just bringing people together so that you love each other, that you support each other, and that embodies the Princeton culture about just being a good teammate for each other. When I think of Jerome and Ryan, I think of two great friends to each other and to me. They were leaders and they wanted us all to be on the same page all the time. Team chemistry and positivity has really been what they've kind of focused on for their careers here. They were two of the most selfless teammates I've ever played with and I think they really embodied that team aspect and showed us younger guys what it was like to sacrifice for the team. I was able to take after Schwieger and Jerome, just their personality and their willingness to want to win and compete every day. This senior class has really driven the culture and the way we want to do things. It's kind of started with them, the leadership at the top, and it trickles down. They've led us in so many different ways that are hard to measure. The willingness and the ability to grow over time. They epitomize a culture of hard work and getting better. They want to put the time in. They don't believe in shortcuts. I feel very fortunate that I had opportunity to coach both of them, learned a lot from both of them, and we're going to miss them a lot. Jerome was one of the best teammates. I didn't know anybody who was better at communicating, just being there for others, and he was always someone you could count on as a teammate. I think whatever is really thrown your way, if it's something good, if it's negative, he sort of rolls with the punches, and he always got a smile on his face, which gets you through the day, gets other people through the day as well. Jerome's is a funny guy. He's always lighthearted. He's always the joker in the locker room and, and when we're hanging out. But at the same time, like he holds you accountable, and that's one really great thing about him. He's one of those guys who's super, super excited to help the team in any way that he can. And that's what I think is so special about him is everything that he does is for the team and for others. He just brings such a good vibe to the team, to all of us. And he's somebody who wants to see everybody do well. Often when I would look down at the bench, if he was on the bench and putting him in the game, he was on the edge of his seat, wanting to do his part to make us a better team, to make his teammates better. That really stands out and I think it's what makes him special. My first time meeting him at NMH, easy to talk to, outgoing, really comfortable. You know, then his official visit, same thing, him, his family, like really personable people, people you want to spend time with, people you love being around. And I think that carried with Jerome throughout his career here. I always remember Ryan as someone you want to be around. You know, he was always just someone joking around, having a good time. and. He really brought that to our team. You know, he was always laid back on the bus rides. He would always come up with these crazy debates. I'll always remember his eagerness to get to know people. He's always asking crazy questions that we can start conversations about and create memories from. He's always got some obscure quote from like Maya Angelou or like Mahatma Gandhi or something. Like he's trying to just drop little bits and pieces of knowledge on you. He's there to put an arm around you if you have a rough day or rough practice. I'll always remember how chilled out he is off the court. He's composed and you see that in the way he plays too. He knows when to just be that fun-loving, happy guy and he knows when it's go time and it's time to really focus up. I'm not sure there was a guy these last four years that had put more time in, getting extra work in, in the gym, extra shots. Whatever it took, Ryan was getting it done and doing anything and everything that he could to make himself better and make the team better. I think he's one of the most thoughtful guys I've ever coached. He puts others before himself. It's deep down, that's who he is and that's who he cares about the most is his teammates. We're gonna miss him and his impact here will be felt for a long time. Ryan and Jerome, I just want to thank you guys for teaching me how to be a good teammate. For really bringing me into the Princeton culture. For being there for me always. I love you guys and I'm going to miss recruiting visits, team meals. I'm just so proud to have you guys as teammates and friends. I hope that you guys ball out next year at Loyola in Hawaii. Like I'll be watching, I'll be a fan for life. From all of Princeton basketball's fans, alums, we thank you from the bottom of our heart for being you.